Welcome to my official science degree tier list. Make sure to sit back, relax, gently tap the like button, and let's begin. Agriculture is going to be first on the list, and unfortunately, this one is not very good when it comes to the stats. Agriculture is the theoretical study as well as the practical application of farming and cultivation. Salary isn't great, demand isn't great, there just aren't that many things going for this degree, if I'm being honest. One thing that is decent is the job satisfaction seems to be relatively solid, so for that reason, I can't put this one too low. It's going to go ahead and go in D tier. Next on the list is going to be animal science. This is a relatively popular one as you can imagine. I mean, pretty much everybody loves animals. In fact, you could make a pretty solid argument that animals are even better than chocolate chip cookies. Now this one does emphasize animals that interact with human beings and generally it's going to be farm animals. Now because of that, the demand for this degree is extremely low, maybe the lowest on the entire list. Now the job satisfaction is still relatively decent and I think that's something you notice with a lot of the science degrees. The job satisfaction tends to be pretty good, but the pay is really low and there's just not that much opportunity out there. And so for that reason, it's gonna go in F tier. Next on the list is gonna be aeronautics and aerospace science. And this one is gonna be all about studying things that fly, such as rockets, planes, satellites, and of course, flying saucers. Now, this one might be something that you'd study if your goal is to work for NASA, for instance. Now, as you can imagine, becoming a rocket scientist isn't the easiest thing in the world. And for that reason, this is one of the hardest majors out there. This is big brain time. But for those that can do it, the pay is excellent, starting off at about 52,000, but it works its way up to 129,000 by mid-career. So to put this in perspective, aerospace engineers get paid extremely well, but they only make 118,000 for mid-career pay. Now, besides being really difficult, the other downside to this one is there's not as much demand as a lot of the other high-ranking majors. But overall, when we're talking about science degrees, this one clearly goes into S tier. Next on the list is gonna be biology, and I don't think I need to explain what this one is all about. This is one of the most popular majors out there and also one of the most overrated in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, it's important to know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but the pay isn't great to be honest with you. But the pay might be the least of your worries because the demand for people who graduate with bachelor's degrees is also extremely low. There's a huge issue with this one with people graduating with a four-year degree and not being able to find a job and so they have to go back to school. <laughs> pay for expensive grad school just to be able to start their career. However, I still think biology is a decent degree and here's why. It's still relatively well respected and it's somewhat flexible. So if you can't get a job as a biologist, there's a lot of other careers out there that would potentially hire you with a biology degree. And on top of that, if you do manage to land a job as a biologist, the job satisfaction is pretty good. So for those reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and put biology into C tier. Next on the list is going to be biochemistry. And if you're passionate about biology, I would say this one is a much much better choice. And biochemistry is just what it sounds like. It's basically the chemistry that happens inside of biological organisms. The pay is quite a bit better than biology with a starting pay of nearly 5,000 more and a mid-career pay of 15,000 more. There's also a lot more demand for this degree and it's more flexible, which means it's much easier for you to get a job with just a four-year degree. This is also a really good one if you're trying to go into a healthcare career. A classmate of mine did get a biochemistry degree and she said it prepared her extremely well for pharmacy school. School. Overall, I think this one for science degrees is gonna go into A tier. Next on the list is going to be chemistry, and this one is a little bit better than biology in my opinion, but not quite as good as biochemistry. You know, if you get an engineering degree, you're probably gonna become an engineer. If you get a nursing degree, you're probably gonna become a nurse. But if you get a chemistry degree, there's a very small chance that you're gonna become a chemist. But overall, the stats on this one aren't too bad. I'll go ahead and put it in B tier. But seriously, if you're not careful with this one, if you don't plan ahead, Head, you're probably going to end up a little bit confused when you have to go to grad school in order to just get a job. Next on the list is going to be environmental studies. Now this one is all about studying and protecting the environment and it actually did grade out pretty well when it comes to job satisfaction. But the downside to this one is basically everything else. The stats on it are horrible. On top of that, this one is not as flexible as a lot of the other degrees. So there's a good chance you won't be able to find a job with just a four-year degree and it will also be hard to transition into other industries. And I think this one in the future might become a little more important. I mean, you have to admit, it would be cool if you didn't ever have to charge your phone. The power of the sun 
in the palm of my hand. Overall, because of the high job satisfaction, I'll be nice and put this one in D tier. Next on the list is going to be exercise science, and this is pretty close to the last one when it comes to statistics. It has pretty high job satisfaction, as you would imagine. A ton of people are really into exercising. However, the demand might actually be the lowest on the entire list. The salary is also extremely low. I think it was tied for the lowest on the entire list. It also isn't a very well-respected or flexible degree. There's just not that much upside to this one. One, this one definitely goes in F tier. Food science is gonna be next on the list and I was actually pleasantly surprised at how well this one graded out. The pay is pretty decent for a science degree and the demand is actually pretty good as well. And let's be honest, who doesn't love food? It's some serious gourmet shit. And it does seem like there's actually a good amount of jobs out there if you graduate with a food science degree. Now the knock on this one is that unlike a lot of the other science degrees, the job satisfaction is actually pretty low. That's why I would put this one in B tier. Forestry is gonna be next on the list. And this seems like a really cool one to get into. I mean, who wouldn't wanna be paid to hike around the forest all day? It's also pretty cool to be able to conserve nature and save the trees and all that stuff. I mean, nature's cool. And the job satisfaction for this one is pretty good as well. Unfortunately, everything else is extremely bad. It has some of the worst stats on the list. On top of that, this is not a very flexible degree where you can just go into a different industry very easily. For that reason, forestry is gonna go into D tier. Geology is next on the list and this one was actually a pleasant surprise. And geology is basically the science that deals with the Earth's physical structure as well as the substance. Now the stats for this one did have their faults, but overall they actually graded out pretty well. The pay was above average and the job demand was also pretty decent. The job satisfaction was really high. In fact, it's one of the highest on the list. And after doing some research, I think I found out why. And I think it's because a lot of geologists end up working in the natural gas industry, which tends to pay extremely well. For instance, petroleum engineering is the highest paying four year degree that you can get. The only problem with this one is there's a good chance that you'll have to move into the middle of nowhere. You might even have to move to an oil rig. But overall, I'm gonna give this one high B tier status. Next on the list is gonna be molecular biology. And this one's pretty close to just normal biology, but the stats are just slightly better. So I'm gonna put it in B tier. Next on the list is gonna be neuroscience. And this is basically the study of the structure of the brain and nervous system. And this is another one where you have that same common problem that you have with a a lot of the other science degrees. Basically, there's a lot of neuroscience majors graduating, but there's not a lot of neuroscientist jobs. So a lot of them end up going back to school, get a six to eight year degree, or they end up completely switching their career. But overall, this one does have pretty good job satisfaction and it's relatively well respected and flexible, but everything else is pretty bad about it if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in C tier. Next is gonna be psychology. And this one always gets a lot of comments. It's very controversial because it's one of the most popular degrees out there. And I can see why. Psychology is very interesting. I mean, I took extra psychology classes in college, but the stats don't lie, guys. Psychology is very overrated. There's so many psychology majors graduating and there's just not that many jobs for a four-year degree. And if you do end up getting a job, you're probably not gonna get paid very well and you're gonna get worked extremely hard. And you can't complain about it because there's 10 other people lined up that would happily take that same job if you quit. So even if you're doing what you love and you're following your passion, it might ruin it for you just because of how stressful it is. Now, if you do end up getting a psychology job, the job satisfaction is pretty good, if I'm being honest. And if you are willing to go to grad school, get your master's or your doctorate, you can get some pretty decent jobs. And I almost put this one in D tier just because I do think it's important and I have a lot of respect for people who work in mental health. I do think it's a very important degree and it's something that society really needs. My sister graduated with a psychology degree and she does amazing work. But but the fact that it's so overrated, there's so many people graduating with this degree makes me have to put it in F tier. Next on the list is gonna be physics. And this is the branch of science that's concerned with the nature and properties of matter and energy. Now physics is technically a science degree, but it's also extremely math heavy. So you get a good dose of both. Physics is also very difficult. A lot of people think it's the most difficult major in undergrad, but the stats are very solid for physics. Uh, the pay is good both when you start and also when you've been working for a while. The job satisfaction is also pretty decent as well. The demand is pretty good for this one. And on top of that, physics is a very well-respected degree where you can easily switch fields. Many physics majors end up going into the tech industry and working as software engineers or something along those lines. For that reason, physics is going to rank highest on the list and it is going to go into S tier. Make sure to watch my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any comments, thoughts, criticism, 
criticisms, etc., that you have on this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.